Sup fuckers, here's a problem for you. Find all pairs of x and y so, uh, positive integers such that 3 to the power of x is equal to y squared minus y plus 1. So, what do you do with this? Well, you obviously complete the square. Since this uh, is a polynom polynomial which has no roots, we can just, uh, the best thing we can do is that we can write this as um, y, uh, yeah, y uh, minus 1 squared plus y. Yes, that's our best shot. So, okay, um, so what do we do now? Well, uh, a good trick is modulus. Yeah, so we know that 3 to the power of x modulo 3, well, is well obviously 0, it's divisible by 3. So then we we'll just try all the cases of uh, y. So we have the first one where uh, y modulo 3 is 0, uh, which is equivalent to y being equal to 3 times some k, uh, which gives us 3k minus 1 squared plus 3k. And what is this modulo 3? Well, it is because when we complete the square, we get some t something times 3 here. And then the only thing that doesn't have a 3 in front is the plus 1. So we have that, uh, that divis divisible. When y is divisible by 3, we know that this expression is not divisible by 3. It has the remainder 1, and therefore this cannot be the case. This does not work. So we have the next case. Uh, y modulo 3 is equal to 1. That is the same as saying that y is equal to 3k plus 1 for some integer k, which gives us, uh, so we have 3k plus 1 minus 1, so we also have 3k to the power of 2 plus 3k plus 1, which obviously modulo 3 is 1, so this does not work either. And then we have the third case, the last case, y modulo two, uh, 3 is equal to 2 which is equivalent to y being equal to 3k plus 2, which gives us that 3k plus 2 minus 1, so we have 3k plus 1 squared plus 3k plus 2. Uh, and what is that modulo 3? Well, frankly, that modulo 3 is 0. Ta-da! So, okay, so this is our, this is the only case that works, because this becomes plus 1, and that's plus 2, and this is 3, so it's equal to, um, to 0. So, now, um, let's just, we'll just continue with this case, because we know that works. But we we'll also have to find x. So we'll complete the, complete the square over here. So then we get that 9k squared plus 6k, uh, sorry, plus 9k, that because it's plus 9k plus 3 uh, is equal to, we said that's 3 to the power of x. So we obviously, we have the case where would x is equal to 1. Then we uh, we have the case where x is, sorry, this is equal to 1, then k is just equal to 0. So that's already a solution we have. Uh, we can write that over here. We have that x is 1, and y, uh, k is 0, meaning that y is 2. So that one works. So uh, 
Now we just now we investigate when k is bigger than one. That means that we can divide by three everywhere because uh, and we will still have if x is bigger than one. This is, then this is three times three or more. So then we can obviously or sorry we can we can always divide um, because x can't be zero. So uh, this is equivalent to k three k squared plus three k plus one being equal to three to the power of x minus one. So now was the question question if this is divisible by three, that means that x is two or bigger, then we have that this has to be divisible by three. And this is for integer k's never divisible by three. So we know that when x is bigger than one, we have no solutions. So, and because x is a positive integer, the only uh, solution is when x is one, and that is the, well, it's the solution we found. It's one, two. Uh, maybe I can repeat this thing. Okay, so basically, if x is bigger than one, then we have that this is two or bigger, so this is divisible by three. Because if, if it is one, then this is just three to the power of zero, which is one, which is not divisible by three. So, which makes perfect sense, because then it's one and then all the case is zero, which means that y is two, which is the thing we got before. So, if x is bigger than one, that means that this is divisible by three. And this is always modulo 3. This left-hand side is always equal to 1 modulo 3. So this can, exactly, this has no solution. It can never be the case. So this is all the solutions there are, actually. So when x is 1 and y is 2, that's the only solution. So yeah, that was all for me. Bye-bye.